Hey, tonight I'm going to be re-drilling my R33 brake rotors from 5 stud to 4 stud so that I can run my dirty rotor RVX wheels. So, I have rotors, I have the CNC machine. The plan is to pick up this centre bore on G54, pick up one of these holes on G55, start the program there, come back relatively to here, call a rotate 90 degrees command, and then go back to zero on G55, which will bring me back here. And repeat that three times, and it will drill from five stud to four stud. I get away with doing this because both PCDs for the five stud and the four stud are 114.3, so I don't even have to enter that quarter into the program. All I do is come zero, zero, rotate 90, zero, zero, Rotate 90, 0, 0, rotate 90, 0, and then it's done. So, let's get these rotors drilled. Now, I probably could have just drilled them by stacking another 4 stud rotor on top and drilling straight through. That's what people usually do, but I've got access to this gear and it's probably a bit more accurate doing this way. I mean, ultimately, the hub picks up on this centre bore here, so if the holes are a little tiny bit out, it doesn't matter, but why stuff around when you have access to gear like this? Because I'm paranoid, and I really don't need to use this machine very often, I like to spot drill the holes to start with before I punch them all the way through. I've also started with a rear rotor because I, they're not so expensive and I don't care so much. Because there's no bolt circle pattern actually programmed into the program, it's just working off the zero wing as I, just, as I mentioned before. I like to measure this, so I'll go in the spots one handed. Isn't quite that easy, but we'll see what we get. 114.2, that is near enough with my dodgy one-handed verniering to be considered 114.3. There we go, 114.28. That is damn well near enough. So I'll run that program through and then I'll test it with this. Right, so drilled those holes. Let's see if the hub fits. Oh fuck, what's going on here? That's not good, but I've got a theory. Hmm, yes, look at that. These studs, they're not seated in straight. Fix that. All right, here we go. After a bit of rubber mallet tweaking. It's now, it's now going in like a glove. Now, if the holes are actually wrong, they would have been wrong at this point, so that was just because of the elongated studs not being seated in properly when I put them in the press. I would say that's good to go. So I'll take a moment to mention how I pick where I put the holes. There's, there's two threaded holes that are made for jacking the rotor away from the hub when there's stuff on. I don't really want that hole to be there. That would be really crap because they hit each other, so I try and put them like that with the top hole. It seems to make a lot more sense. button, leave some comments, all that sort of crap, that would be awesome.